Hi, I'm Kirsten Kopp. I'm a real estate broker in gorgeous Wellington, Florida. And the reason I've started today's house tour on this gorgeous ATV is because one of the most unique things about Aero Club is our multi-use path. So legally, you can drive around equestrian Wellington, including Aero Club, on one of these babies. And today, we've actually got an open house. Do you like my new sign? And we're going to get in before the droves of people that are going to be here and give you a quick tour. already getting a bit hot in South Florida, but I did want to ditch the ATV and show you how big this driveway is. You can park eight cars on here and there's a three car garage. There's so much space on this just over an acre lot. I'm going to show you. Even the entrance when you finally get up to here is grand. These double doors open up and there's a real sense of arrival when you walk in. So when you first walk in, the thing that strikes you first is the volume ceilings, really high ceilings throughout. So rare for a property built in 1999 and built by the owners that still own it. It's never been on the market before. They sat down and they designed it with the architect Chuck Higgins and the builder Jeff Browning. And they came up with this really incredible floor plan. So when you walk in, the first thing you see is this beautiful pool and then the masses of acreage and lawn behind and then behind that is the Palm Beach Point Canal. So during the winter you can see the odd horse hacking by to WEF. That's the Wellington International Showgrounds. So let's explore this amazing floor plan. We're going to go left past the formal dining area into what I like to call the informal family area. Of course, every good party ends in the kitchen or starts or is hosted in the kitchen. And this is just the ultimate family kitchen gathering place. Great light coming in from a south facing yard with the pool. Did I mention how big the lot is? You could have a family volleyball or pickleball or you name it. This house is just perfect for family entertainment. So when I market a property for sale, I always like to think of the avatar. Who do I imagine living here? And who I imagine living in this house is a large equestrian family who want to be less than a mile from the horse show, or a family again who want to take advantage of our A-graded schools. So where we are now, I've walked you into the second bedroom and it's a really clever three-way split floor plan. There are two bedrooms here with a Jack and Jill, and then over the other side, we'll show you more. So we're coming out of bedrooms two and three with the Jack and Jill behind me. And we're gonna come into the communal area again. And here is the kitchen. Lots of room to cook or for your chefs to cook or for your family days to have family cooking days. So we're coming, gonna come back here and I love this feature. They've got a beautifully designed um, half powder here. And then look at this laundry room. I'm totally in love with all this space for folding cabinets and they've got a little utility sink back there too. So this is all off the garage and let me show you what they've done to the third garage. So we've got the laundry room behind, we've got the powder to our left and then look at this. We've got this beautiful fifth bonus room or bedroom and if my cameraman backs up, which is pretty difficult but she's really awesome, you'll see that this room is perfect for fifth bedroom or as they've got it now, uh, an extra TV room. And uh, this house has gone through a whole family cycle and this is what I love about real estate. So they took this third garage, which they didn't use. And when their kids were small, it was a games room, a hangout room. When they get older, teenagers, it was a teenage hangout. Now they're empty nesters. It's this amazing spa gym room with that infrared. Let's have a look at the infrared. But here's the thing, they didn't over convert. So it'd be very, very easy to put it back and make it a third garage. Let's have a look. <sighs> oh. Oh. I feel so relaxed now. Not really. I'm joking. Let's go and have a look at the rest of the house. And one and 
two and three or something like that. Right, I don't usually show the garages on my tours, but I just had to show you this garage because it's like a perfectionist's dream. Never seen a garage so organized. Look at this. All you home improvement fans out there, isn't this just paradise? When you walk into a garage like this, you just know that the owners have taken really good care of their stuff. I just love all of these tall, tall hallways where you can have some amazing lighting features like the current owners have taken advantage of. So we're going across the large foyer, which has another formal seating area and then we're going to go to the other split which contains another bedroom or an office and the master. So let's start in the master, one of my favourite parts of any tour. And as you can see, it's gorgeous with these recessed ceilings. They have a sofa here right now, but as you can see behind, there is a sliding cabana door that you can take an advantage of and go into your gorgeous pool area. There are also double doors to get into the master suite, which I think is a nice touch and gives it a sense of fabulousness. Uh, double closets, very nice, obviously impeccably custom designed. And then the master bathroom. And I need to have a show, just Kirsten's favorite tubs, because this one would be way up there. And it's brand new, but look at the shower. So I love this. This was very popular in floor plans and it still is. You basically have a double shower walkthrough, so you can come in either side. And I love this very flattering lighting because who doesn't want very flattering lighting when you're naked? Assuming you are when you shower, I always am. And you come out this side and it's got this symmetrical design as well. I just love it. Oh, come in please. Yes, take a seat. Not really, but this is a really, excellent use of a fourth bedroom. They've turned it into an office. It's right opposite a double cabana bathroom, which I'm gonna show you next. So very easily could be a fourth or fifth bedroom. I lose count in this house, but right now it's an office. I was also thinking this is used as an office now, but it would be a great nursery because the master's right there. Just a thought. Um, we're crossing over into the cabana bathroom, which also serves for that office and of course into the pool area which is always one of my favorite places to visit we're in south florida after all and this is delightful we've got this huge screened in space which is super handy because being that we're in the tropics we do get mosquitoes and things during the dusk and the dawn and of course can you hear that sound? There's masses of water fountains in this pool and I, for one, I just love the sound of water. It makes me um, calm and the vista makes me calm as well. It's just serene and quiet back here. When you've got over an acre of property, I've decided that you can uh, call it strolling through the property. And uh, you've got all of this acreage. It's incredible. Now, Aero Club, um, because there's hangars that can be built, you can build a second structure on this property. Uh, or you can just keep it as just a massive, I mean, they've got a badminton court, or is it volleyball? I don't know. But just, I don't know. If the gold is in the land, then this property has a lot of gold. It goes all the way down to the canal. And on the other side, you get to watch horses going by, going from what is over there, which is the rustic uh, ranches area, all the way over to WEF, which is here. It truly is a winter wonderland home. And if you've enjoyed this tour, you might like this one next. I'm Kirsten Kopp.